Hey, welcome to our show, guys. Where are we at today, Robbie boy? Pleasant Grove. Pleasant Grove? And what are we going to do in PG? You tell me, sir. Hey, it's this right here. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Is it about that? Are we cooking? Oh, we're going to go inside right here and we're going to find out. I think it has to do with something O-Y-L. What's that? Olive oil? <laughs> Popeye? Oil. Oh, oil. Oh. You use oil, don't you? Mop and glove. All right, baby, we're going to go inside and meet our first guest. Here we go. All right, guys, we're inside now and we want to introduce Lil Shepard. Right. Kicking it with Lil. <laughs> Kick, kicking it with Lil. And I'm so excited to be here with Goose, our longtime friend, and to meet his friend, Rob. And so, what do you do here at doTERRA? Well, I don't work at doTERRA. I am not an employee. I'm a wellness advocate. And as a wellness advocate, I get to teach people how to use essential oils. I know she got your bag. A wellness advocate never goes anywhere without their oils. doTERRA has about 60, 70 oils. Some are blends, some are pure, like just pure lavender. Some blends have two oils or maybe 10 oils in a blend. But I would like to share one of my favorite oils with you too. Are you up for it? Ooh. We'll go for it. We'll go we'll for it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Peppermint essential oil. Peppermint will open your airways. It's an oil that you can use aromatically to open your airways. You can use it topically on your skin and you can also take it internally. You can cook with it. You can use it on your tummy if it's feeling a little bit upset. But I'm gonna teach you an awesome trick. Give what me your hand, Goose. What about in laundry, can you? Well, we wouldn't use peppermint in laundry per, per se, but there are many oils that you can use in laundry. You can put them in your um, dishwasher to make it smell good. All right. So what do I do now? Okay, stick that mic under your arm. There you go. Okay, rub your hands together. Now make a little circle. Like that? Oh, like a, uh, throw, throwing a circle change in baseball. Make there you go, Goose. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Now make a cup with your other hand. All right, I want you to put this up by your nose and then inhale. Hmm. Oh, wow. Now how about through your mouth? <sighs> wow. So, so if, we, uh, if we had this on the wide trail doing that show, <laughs> it would have been easier. Oh, that would have helped. Opens those, now keep your hands away from your eyes. We don't want peppermint in your eyes. Good call. Okay. If you get it in your eyes, so we can just simply put on some carrier oil, even olive oil, even Crisco oil. Oh yeah, but olive oil. I use olive oil a lot. Okay. Yeah. So if you ever get it in your eyes, that's what you do. But how do you feel? Rub your I, back of your nose. You feel open? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking of my sister. Yeah. Sometimes she has a trouble getting to sleep, insomnia. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've heard lavender's good for lavender's that. Lavender's excellent to help you relax. Yes. So for that's you people out word. there that's having a tough time getting a good night's sleep, try. Lavender on your feet, lavender on your wrists, on the back of your neck. Yes, absolutely. Now I'm wanting to know are you guys ready to see what doTERRA is all about I'm excited uh, I have to tell you in 2008 when I walked through the door at doTERRA in their little office in Orem there were four owners and about five employees and about 10 distributors or wellness advocates mm -hmm. and now we have mm, let me think over two million wellness advocates <laughs> And about 2,000 employees doTERRA has, and we have this beautiful building that we get to come to and bring people like you and show it off. But you know what doTERRA is all about is relationships and helping people learn how to care for themselves naturally. We love modern medicine. We love Mother Nature, and we love putting them together. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. Yep, sounds pretty rad, as they say in <laughs> Southern Cal, rad. <laughs> All right, let's go do it. Okay, here we go. So we're here on the fourth, fourth floor at doTERRA in Pleasant Grove, our corporate headquarters. And this is our where we have our boardroom and our executive offices for the company. Now one thing I know my viewers are going to want to know, how come doTERRA is not spelled with a capital D? 
The word doTERRA actually, it's a derivative of uh, Latin terms that mean gift of the earth. So I guess technically you could go with a, uh, a capitalized, but it's that's the way the, the logo's been stylized. Oh, and it means gift of cool. the earth. Yeah. So unique. Yeah, definitely unique. All right. Just like the products, you know, essential oils are unique. I like that. And they're a gift from the earth. All right. So over here, McKay, we've got what? This is our boardroom, so this is where a lot of the, deci the important decisions are made, and uh, it's, where, it's where really the, the business is driven forward. That's where all the, the big wigs sit. <laughs> are you one of the big wigs? Uh, I'm probably more of a small wig. Okay, <laughs> I like that. Maybe medium, who knows. All right, and then to our left. Right here, these are some of the awards that the company has uh, been honored with over the years. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's nice to be recognized. That's not what it's all about, but it's nice to be recognized. Um, it's gratifying when people appreciate what you do. Yeah, and you started in Orem? Started in Orem in uh, 2008, um, and with basically four, four folks that, uh, that got together and, and decided to launch doTERRA, just a handful of distributors, and we've grown now to uh, over 1,650 employees here at our corporate offices and uh, nearly two million uh, wellness advocates. Those are the people that um, distribute the product that are out sharing essential oils. Okay, now our viewers are gonna wanna know what the difference between an herb and an oil is that's a great question. So an herb would be the actual plant. So take, for instance, something like rosemary. You're probably familiar with rosemary and have used it in cooking. Uh, you would use the whole plant or the herb in that case. Uh, but when you, dis you can extract from r the rosemary plant the essential oil, which is uh, it's a volatile aromatic compound. It's a small oil, uh, sm there are tiny sacks of oil on plants, and you can get that out of the plant, and it's a very concentrated form of what keeps the plant healthy, what gives it its unique smell, flavor, those types of things. Now, you mentioned aromatic. What does that mean? Well, aroma, smell. So we breathe it? Mm -hmm. Breathe it in. I know there's three basic groups, right? Aromatic. Topical. Cool. And internal? And internal. So you're talking about the uses or the they, use cases. Yeah, uh huh. So you can put, yeah, you topical, you'd put it on your skin, aromatic, you'd smell it, breathe it in, or diffuse it through the air. And uh, then internal. Oh, um, ingest it? You can ingest it. Beautiful. Not all essential oils can be ingested, so you do need to make sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, but obviously, a lemon oil, an orange oil, those types of things have been used in flavorings for ages. Sure. Well, let's go over and meet one of the employees here. Oh, Jen. 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 All right, Jen, what is your last name? Skillings. Okay, we want to just give you some warm fuzzies today, you know. Right. And warm fuzzies. You, and uh, put you on camera. Obviously, our viewers are going to want to know what you do here at the company. What I do is I've been here four years, and I'm the executive receptionist. Um, since we've moved into this new building, I'm in charge of all the receptionists. We have about six other receptionists here, you know, and then I have a lot of other little responsibilities. So, what, so those are your main duties? Yes. And? I get to greet visitors that want to come and um, meet with the executives or just want to know about doTERRA. All right. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you being on our show. All righty. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> we're over here now, we're out in the hall, and we've got a little display case of something. These are handmade dolls from Guatemala, and they, they're really representative of one of the purposes that we have here at doTERRA, which is finding ways to help people lift themselves from where they are, their economic level, to a higher level. Um, these dolls are from Guatemala, and our Healing Hands Foundation purchased these and then sold them as a fundraiser to bring in more money to help fund the foundation. And the foundation goes around the world and looks for projects. Um, there may be villages that need water sources or schools or training centers. 
um, jump-starting an industry in an area, those types of things. The foundation looks for those opportunities where people can become more self-sufficient and raise themselves to a higher level of um, education, economic, health standards. I like it. Very now, cool. are, are they handmade? They are. They're handmade by women in Guatemala. Women. Okay. We've also done scarves from Bolivia. Uh, there are a number of different things that we've done with our foundation to raise money to support those projects. All right. A lot more than just oils going on here, Bruce. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, we're down here a little bit lower in the building. This is called the what center? The Arrival Center. And why is it called the Arrival Center? We call it the Arrival Center because this is a great place for our wellness advocates or even just the general public to come. And wellness advocates can introduce people to doTERRA. They can learn more about the company, the history, the products. And it's basically a place for people to come and learn. So Joe Q. Public can come right through these doors? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, people can go online, they can schedule a tour, they could just pop in and see the facility. We prefer if they schedule a tour because then we can be able to spend some time with them. And a little hands-on? Yeah, Okay. walk them through what it is we do and how we do it. Okay, I notice over here, in this display case, we've got the oils. So that display, we've got a display with oils, we've got one with nutritional supplements, and one with our health and beauty line. So three different main lines of products that, that we focus on. And we, we sell essential oils and essential oil infused products. So everything that we do has essential oils in it. It's either the pure form or it's incorporated in for the benefits that you get from it. Okay. I'm just thinking about the moms out there that their kids say some night uh, they've got some hearing discomfort. Do you have a product that would help ease the discomfort? Oh sure, there are there are a number of different essential oils that that will help with some temporary issues like that. Um, you know, there's uh, lavender, there's melaleuca, there are a number of different products that somebody could use. Now I know I like ginger. Ginger's good to settle the tummies down. Yeah. yeah, when you've got some temporary upset, that can be really helpful. Oh, and it works really well. It does. Quick, quick do you, acting. Do you guys have ginger here? We do. We have ginger. Um, and actually, that's funny that you bring that up. I, last night, was having a little bit of that temporary discomfort. <laughs> and I, I, we have a, a, a blend that it contains uh, some different essential oils. It's called Digest Set, and I put some of that on my stomach. I drop a couple drops under my tongue, and, and uh, it helps to ease that temporary discomfort. So you're, my friend Goose here carries ginger in his pocket. Uh, so you are always set. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought this for a visual aid. I like visual aids. Nice visual. The, the benefit to our essential oil, it's uh, even in the smaller bottle, so it's even more convenient. Okay. And, and in the liquid form. Yes, and, and much more potent than what you're going to get with the ground ginger. Ooh. Because again, think about that concentration of the essential oils. Um, for instance, earlier you tried a drop of peppermint, right? Right. That's right. In one drop of peppermint, you're getting uh, the essential oil basically that you would get in 27 cups of peppermint tea. Wow. Ooh. And I felt it too. And that's why it opened up the... Uh, it has that nice warming sensation and that crisp, clean smell helps you feel like your airways are opening up. I like it. Okay, so where are we going to go next, McKay? Uh, thought I'd take you over and show you how we actually bottle these essential oils and where people come that are local wellness advocates to pick up their orders. If they don't want to have them shipped, they can actually come here and pick them up. I noticed the bottles are kind of amber color. Yeah. Is that so they'll last longer? Uh, it does help reduce the uh, amount of uh, light, the UV rays, those types of things. So it's, it's helpful in that regard. All righty. Okay, we're going to keep moving, guys. Great. Guys, we're over in the product center now, right? Yes. Okay. 
Yes, this is our product center. It is where people that are in town can come and pick up their orders. So it's in between a retail store, but it's not really a retail store. You would need to do your order online, but then you can come here and pick it up. Okay, if somebody wants to get started, I know there's two kits, right? Yeah, we have actually a number of kits, and a couple of the ones that are great for starting out. The introductory kit. And what, there's, there's only three bottles in it? Lavender, lemon, and peppermint, which are our three top sellers. And it's a great, great introduction to essential oils. We have our family physician's kit. And how many's in that kit? So that's 10 different oils that uh, you can use around the house in a number of different ways. Um, earlier we were talking about some uh, temporary upset stomach type of a situation. One of the oils in there, Digest Zen, is perfect for that type of a situation. Um, oils like lemon and uh, I think we've got uh, wild orange in there. So peppermint, a number of different products are in there. So if you're a family, if you have a family, it could be like your go-to kit for different ailments in the house? They'll, they'll do different things. They'll help you in different ways. But yeah, they're a great resource for mom or dad to turn to um, when the family needs some help. Mm -hmm. And Lil, you were just sharing with us. Well, the family physician kit would be kind of like your natural first aid kit to turn to in the middle of the night when you have sure. fluctuation. Yes, absolutely. If we got a child, uh, I remember Lindy had colic one year. Okay. And we couldn't get her to, to, to quiet down. Do you have anything for colic? Well, we have something to assist with babies who are having discomfort. Okay. And so, yes, we would put some digestion maybe on her tummy, some lavender on her feet, and then, of course, give her a big hug and off to sleep she goes. <laughs> All right. Total booyah. Now, I notice I've... Uh, I've been a coach and a player in that, Rob, and you've played hockey. Oh, yeah. Look at this baby down here. It's called Deep Blue, Rob. What mineral, not minerals, what oils does it have in it? So the Deep Blue Rub has our Deep Blue Oil, and it's a proprietary blend of several different oils. They're going to stimulate the muscle and the skin and pro provide a positive response, things like um, wintergreen. And some, anyway, it's a, it's a blend that really kind of warms up and, and helps you as an athlete um, or just an everyday person, you know, kind of push through and reestablish your mobility. Gotcha. Yeah. I will say, McKay, I'm still feeling that peppermint. <laughs> so I think what those natural, uh, those natural oils will do. Now let's go to this case here. Yeah. People who are uh, uh, battling with the weight issues. We have a line of uh, weight management products, everything from um, an appetite suppressant bar. That's kind of a fun new one. Uh, it has a, a spinach extract in it that's been clinically proven to help people maintain a feeling of fullness longer. Oh. And our, um, our trim shake, which yeah. is a high in protein and provides a, a great balance of good quality proteins and fats. I know it's this one right here in the corner. The terror uh, green. Uh -huh. Do you not eat your broccoli, Goose? Oh, <laughs> I like cauliflower. Well, greens. Greens, all right. So this would be perfect for you. <laughs> okay. Mickey, all right. Do you have something that would help my friend Goose here with his ketchup addiction? <laughs> <laughs> the ketchup addictions, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about uh, that. <laughs> if it's red, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to keep moving. Lil? Yes. We're going to go over to this section here, and what's it called? That is where I get to pick up my orders. Oh. That's a will call or the part of the product center. So as a wellness advocate, I place my order online, and I walk in and tell these young ladies or gentlemen or go to a kiosk and pick up my order. So, so. you place your order over there. Or at home, either one. Uh -huh. And then you can, and there's where you pick and it up. And then I go here and pick it up. No shipping for me. Now, okay. McKay, we're going to go in the back and see how they package the uh, oils. Let's see, let's see if we can't sneak back there and show you. Ooh, here we go. We're all about sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I told you we'd go back where Behind it all the takes scenes. place. Oh, yeah. yeah we're so all about that. McKay, the magic happens. The, the magic, magic happens. <laughs> so, McKay, through the window, we got what? 
So this is where we are filling, we are filling the essential oils. These are actually 5 ml bottles, and this is the, a new oil that we announced just a couple of months ago, Douglas Fir. So I don't know if you can smell that. Ooh, ooh, um, that's a good smell, kinda guys. Kind of like Christmas in a bottle. Yeah. Um, and this machine is a precision filling machine. Uh, make sure that we actually deliver to our customers just over what we promise them. We always overfill something. Oh, I like to that, sure. As it should be. Yeah. 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 Over deliver, right? Yep. And then the product gets labeled. It gets capped, labeled, and inspected. All right. And then where does it uh, go in the boxes? Well, so then actually we have several distribution points um, or warehouses. We don't actually ship from this production facility other than those that pick up their orders here. I got you. So we've got a couple of two or three different uh, facilities that we ship it in bulk to, and then people place their orders depending on where they are in the country or in the world, then they get shipped out from there. Okay, this is run 24 hours a day? So yeah, we run six days a week, uh, pretty much around the clock. So shifts all day, all night, and uh, we're producing uh, millions of bottles of oil um, every month. And in fact, the product center where we were, where we were just um, earlier is, uh, is pretty busy. Um, we hit it early in the day, so it wasn't too bad. But we'll produce over 30,000 uh, shipments or, or orders that will be picked up uh, in the course of a month. Now, that will get wow. busy during the holidays. But I'm looking at the red and yellow and green lights. What's that all about? Uh, those are status lights of the system. So it looks like right now they're getting ready to start the line up again. And so it's not in full production. When it's in full production, it'll be green. Green. And that oil will be coming out of those tubes into those bottles and capped and on its way. All right. Very we good. We because it was a Douglas fir. It was a Christmas <laughs> light. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It is pretty festive. All right. Here we go. So McCabe, this is a big place and fun, I might add. It is. So we've been in here just a few months, and you can see we're already starting to fill up all of the racking. Um, but you know, one of the unique features of this production area, this warehouse, when they when they envisioned this, they could see how fast the company was growing, and so they designed this facility in such a way that when we need to, we can take down the back wall and more than double the capacity of the facility again. So we'll be able to go from eight filling lines to double that capacity and, and really keep up with the growth. Another thing I'm impressed with, McKay, is the cleanliness. Oh, yeah. You could, you could eat off this floor. You could. I don't know that I would suggest it, just because I'm not a floor-eating kind of guy, <laughs> Goose, but uh, no, that, that we definitely, everything that we do is about quality and, uh, uh, and keeping it at that top level of excellence, and so thanks for noticing that we've taken really good care to make sure everything's nice and neat and tidy. Another thing I've noticed, I've noticed that the employees here are well-groomed, well-dressed and well-groomed, and they seem to have a smile on them. Face. I think that, that you'll find that that's true, that people are generally quite happy to be here. It's a great place to work. I mean, you'll hear people say, oh, I love working at doTERRA because of the people. And actually, one of the, uh, one of the unique things that, that's been fun for us as a company is being able to work with the wellness advocates in a variety of different settings. For instance, we do service projects from time to time. And just recently, we had um, wellness advocates along with our employees. And we put together over 1,000 kits for Days for Girls. Um, and that charity then takes those Days for Girls kits out to women and girls around the world. And so we do things like that blood drives, um, you know, the, the fundraisers that we do for Healing Hands, the wellness advocates are incredible, and, and it's just, it just creates this culture of giving back. It's wonderful. There's a lot going on here, no doubt. Okay, we're coming through the break room here. We've run into Mark here, and I noticed his shirt, and it says, Will Golf for Food. He likes things like that. Are, are you really a golfer? Well, not when my divot goes farther than the ball. Oh, okay. And uh, where did you get the shirt? Um, my mother made it, had it made for me. All right. So, to me and my brother. How is it to work here at doTERRA? It's 
it's uh, we're pretty laid back. Huh? Pretty laid back. Yeah, it's. Uh, we're, uh, I've been here over four years when we, before they bought uh, the company. It seems like people are well dressed and happy and all that. Oh yeah, but everybody gets along. Oh, I like that. Uh, I, we haven't had, had any problems or anything. So. so it's a great place to work. Oh yeah. Beautiful. If I was starting over again, I'd, I'd come here. You'd come here. Ooh. Hey, we appreciate you being on our show. All right. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, those stairs are non-slip, aren't they? Come on. Come oh, those are non-slip. Wow, those are nice. So, McKay, this is so scientific. <laughs> it actually is highly scientific. This is our quality assurance lab, and it's where we do all of our on-site testing. All of our oils and products are tested um, independently before they arrive mm -hmm. here, and then we verify that they meet our quality standards. We have a certified pure therapeutic grade um, set of tests that we run them through to give them that designation, to give the oils and the products that designation. If it doesn't meet our standards, we won't accept it. So we won't sell it. So is the FDA is the FDA aware of DoTerra? Yes, I mean, just, just like any company that's selling um, health supplements, nutritionals, uh, the FDA um, is interested in what, in what we're doing. We've actually been working with them for just over a year now, and, um, you know, they're interested in how are you talking about your products, um, you know, what goes into them, what's your manufacturing environment like, all of those things. So they visit with us on a regular basis, and we're happy to be working with them. Okay, because I know there's probably some viewers out there thinking, is this a shady deal? Is this a shady company? And obviously, you're not. Come, come visit us. There you go. Come I like that. Him. Okay, so... If some young kid there in junior high or high school, he's thinking about being a chemist and he doesn't like his chemistry class in high school, what do you think here? Oh, well, this is a great practical use for that chemistry. Um, we hire scientists, uh, you know, we're, we're hiring and working with botanists. Um, really, I mean, if you think about it, any any field is going to be something that a company like doTERRA is going to probably plug into. We have sourcing specialists that work with uh, farmers and growers and distillers around the world. We've got our scientists here, accountants, whatnot. Uh, we've got kind of the public side of the company that most people are familiar with, and what Lil does is a wellness advocate. You know, she's out there sharing and educating, so there's that side of it as well. Um, so depending on what you're interested in, yeah, you might need to stick with that chemistry class and you might even need to see that through to a master's or even a PhD if you wanted to be the scientist that was ensuring quality or formulations. Because I was thinking about my high school chemistry class. I was thinking, when am I ever going to use straight this? Straight A's? You got straight A's, Oh, right? no, I, I think it's, I think about a B plus. Oh, hey, that's not too bad. Uh, okay. I think it's time to close our show. And usually they're looking for me. Yeah. Or they're looking for you. No, you locked me in a proof box. But we've got a different way today, Travis. Focus right over here. What's going on, McKay? I don't know. I don't know if we can trust you. See this beautiful <laughs> rose? Oh, here it comes. You know what part I like the best? Here it comes. The thorn, baby. The thorn for Rob Thorn. It's all about the tea. <laughs> it's all about the tea. You're famous. And we want to thank our guest. Oh, uh, thank you. McKay. Thank you, McKay Brown. McKay Brown. It's been wonderful. I appreciate you coming by and visiting with us. It's been great to meet you both and hope that you've enjoyed what we've been able to share with you. McKay, I've learned a lot, and that's saying something. <laughs> and as Rob always says, booyah. Total booyah. booyah. Uh, that's yeah. a total booyah. Well, don't be strangers. Come back anytime. We sure appreciate you taking us on the tour. Oh, you're welcome. And you know how we close our show, don't you? I think so. Hey, it's a great day out it's there, Trav. It's a beauty. Or as you say, a dandy. A dandy. And remember, we love, love you. you. We, we truly, truly do. do. And we'll catch you on our next show. In fact, this was number 81. <laughs> Oh, yeah.